One of the most important parts of any forensic investigation is the preservation of evidence in a form where it does not unexpectedly change, where the evidence can be scientifically tested and the occurrence of change can be verified or refuted. Evidence stored in such a way is not only reliable for analysis, but is also forensically sound for presentation in a court of law. Electronic digital evidence must be preserved in tamper-evident containers made from both hardware and software. We call these containers forensic images. The hardware is a media storage device that can reliably contain files, folders, and entire bit copies of digital media storage devices. The software enables the reading and writing of forensic image files and devices. Note the use of the phrase tamper-evident and not tamper-proof. While it is good that forensic images can resist unauthorized efforts to change the evidence stored within, they cannot be 100% resistant to against all types of tampering or destruction. This is why an evidence container must provide mechanisms to reliably indicate attempts to tamper with its integrity have taken place. Forensic image files have the ability to not only store a bit copied image of a file or digital media storage device, but also store additional information associated with the acquired digital evidence. This information, known as metadata, contains descriptive information about the evidence, such as the name of the device the image was acquired from, the name of the technician who acquired the image, the time and date of the acquisition, and the case number the image is a part of. Metadata should always be stored with its forensic image in such a way that it cannot be separated from, but also cannot be confused with, the original information. Embedded within the image files is the most common way to store the metadata. There should also be a way to determine if there has been attempts to add, change, or remove the metadata from a forensic image file. Some forensic image file formats do support the verification of the integrity of the forensic image and metadata they contain. Cryptographic hash values are used to check if digital information has changed. A forensic image file format will store the hash value with the forensic image information itself. This is very convenient for forensic software that needs to verify the integrity of the forensic information during analysis. And finally, forensic image file formats also provide convenience in the physical handling for, of forensic information. If you were to acquire the image of a one terabyte media partition, you probably would not find it convenient to store it as a single one terabyte file. Your storage and analysis requirements might prefer the image be stored as four 250 gigabyte files or as 250 four gigabyte files. Forensic image formats support the storage of a single forensics image in multiple physical files. Some also support applying lossless data compression to the bit image to make the image files smaller, but there is no guarantee how much smaller any acquired image can be compressed. There are many forensic image file formats. Let's have a look at several forensic file formats used by the forensics tools included in Kali 1.1. The most basic digital image storage format is the raw image file format. This is simply an exact sector by sector, bit by bit copy of a digital media storage device that is saved to a file. Each sector in the raw image file corresponds to identical information in a sector on the original storage media and is acquired in the same order as in the sectors on the original digital media. This means the raw image file should result in the same hash value as the source media. Raw image files contain no additional information and are unable to store metadata. There is no standard file extension for raw format files, and you are likely to see a raw image file with any of these extensions. But with so many possible file extensions, how do you know if a file you have is a raw image file? You can discover if a file contains a raw disk image by using the Linux file command. A raw image file will contain a partition table and information about the file system. The file command also shows the number of sectors in the image and if a boot sector is present. If we look at a hex dump of a raw image, you will see partition and file system information, which should be very familiar to anyone who does forensic image analysis. Get used to interpreting this kind of stuff if you want a career in digital forensics. The raw image format is not a forensic image file format. 
Raw image files are for information storage only and by themselves do not provide features for ensuring confidentiality, integrity, or identification of the information they store. Tools may be used on raw files to reduce their size, to hide their contents, split them into multiple pieces for convenience and handling, protect them from unauthorized access, and provide tamper-evident verification but the raw image format itself does not natively support these capabilities. Because of this, the use of forensic image formats over simple raw image files is considered to be a more forensically sound and preferred practice. One good thing about the raw image format is that it is supported by nearly every media imaging tool, including forensic analysis tools. Finding forensic tools to acquire, burn, analyze, and convert raw forensic image files is usually not a problem, especially in Kali Linux. The Apple Disk Image Format is commonly used in the Apple Mac OS X operating system for distributing files and software over the Internet and between Apple and non-Apple computers. Apple Disk Images are also used for backing up and burning CDs and DVDs. Apple Disk Image files are usually created using the Mac OS X utilities Disk Copy and Disk Utility and can be managed using the command line program HDIUtil. Apple Disk Image files typically use the .dmg file extension and are usually referred to as DMG files. DMG files are mounted in the OS X shell finder the same way the devices in Linux are mounted. Remember that OS X is really Unix under that glossy finder GUI. A DMG file can contain one of several different types of file systems, including HFS and HFS+, MS-DOS file allocation table, ISO 9660 for compact disks, and UDF for DVD and Blu-ray disks. Apple Disk Image files can also store hybrid optical media images that themselves contain multiple file systems. Although not a true forensic file format, Apple Disk Images support several advanced features, including secure password protection and data compression. However, Apple Disk Image does not support any specific error detection features. External cryptographic hashing is the typical method used for detecting errors in DMG files. Possibly the most popular forensic file format is the in-case evidence file format. This is the native file format of the Encase forensic software produced by Guidance Software. Encase is one of the most well-known and widely used commercial forensic software packages today. The IT certification for Encase, the NC, is very well regarded forensic certification for forensics professionals. The Encase evidence file format is derived from the Expert Witness Compression Format, EWF. EWF is the native forensic file format of an older forensic application from Guidance Software known as Expert Witness for Windows, which is actually an earlier release of NCase Forensic. The NCase Evidence File Format and Expert Witness Compression Format are referred to interchangeably and both support many of the same features, but do differ in their internal file structures. There are actually two modern versions of the NCase Evidence File Format. The in-case evidence file produced by in-case forensic version 6 that uses the .e01 file extension, and the in-case evidence file produced by in-case version 7 that uses the .ex01 and .lx01 file extensions, and is known as the in-case evidence file format version 2. The in-case evidence file format is actually a closed proprietary format presumably for reasons of preserving the integrity of the evidence stored within from people who would want to alter it without being detected. However, enough information about the in-case format has been both reverse engineered and officially released to allow tools to be created that read and write in-case evidence file format, including older versions no longer supported. The most widely used toolkit for creating tools that manipulate in-case files is the libewf library. We will have a look at a demo of the libewf tools later in this module. In case versions 6 and 7 formats support embedded metadata, image data compression, CRC integrity checking, and storing of a single forensic image as multiple physical files called segments. 
The digital image data is stored in blocks, each of which are assigned an Adler 32-bit CRC value for error checking, and the entire image is hashed using the MD5 cryptographic hashing algorithm for additional integrity verification. NCASE Evidence File Format Version 2 for NK7 adds AES-256 image data encryption, SHA-1 cryptographic hashing, and support for more image data compression algorithms, including run length compression for blocks filled with identical byte values. Image sector data may also be stored out of order in NCASE version 2 files. The Advanced Forensic Format, AFF, is a digital forensic file format created as an alternative to the raw and NCASE evidence file formats commonly used in digital forensics work. AFF addresses many of the problems with the raw format not being a true forensics file format and NCASE being a closed proprietary forensic format. Whereas NCASE is technically restricted in its use, AFF is an open source format and is an open standard that is freely available without licensing, patenting, or copyright restrictions. AFF's long history of proven integrity has made it acceptable for use by the digital forensics community. AFF has all the features you would expect in a forensic file format, including storage of a digital image as a single or multiple files, support for embedded image metadata, MD5 and SHA-1 hashing integrity checking, and lossless compression of image data. Some extra features in AFF that you may not expect include encryption of image data, no size restrictions for stored image data, internal consistency checks for self-authentication, the ability to store image metadata external to the image data file, and support for AFF files to be digitally signed to provide for chain of custody and long-term file integrity. The Advanced Forensic Format is implemented using the AFF Lib Library and Toolkit version 3. Software tools use the AFF Library, AFF Lib, to provide support for using the AFF format. AFFLib also includes a set of command line tools used for working with AFF files. AFF and the AFF library may be implemented in both open source and closed source tools. AFF itself has been implemented on many different platforms and operating systems, including Unix, Linux, Windows, and OS X. The tools included in AFFLib are capable of splitting and joining image data across multiple AFF files converting the AFF formats to raw and in-case formats, detecting and fixing errors in AFF files, displaying information and statistics about AFF files, and verifying AFF image file integrity and chain of custody. The most noticeable admission from AFFLib is a tool capable of saving media device image acquisitions to AFF files. There was once an imaging tool in AFFLib, but it was discontinued in favor of acquiring images to AFF files using the Gimager imaging tool. We'll have a look at the demo of Gimager later in this module. There are several things to note about AFF. First, the current version of the AFF format and AFFLib is version 3. You may run across information about AFF version 4 on the internet, but version 4 was never released or even finished. Version 3 is the forensically sound release of AFF that is used today. AFF and AFFLib are both actively maintained for fixes and minor improvements. However, no new feature development work is being performed currently on AFF or AFFLib. At one time, the originator of the AFF format asked software developers to no longer use AFF in their digital forensics tools because of the superior features and support found in the latest release of the LibEWF library for in-case evidence files. Despite this request, AFF and AFFLib do live on and are acceptable for digital forensics work as an alternative to the in-case format.